Today on Roblox Bed Wars News, Bed Wars Hide and Seek Game Mode, Season 9 Leaks, Headless Horseman Giveaway, and more. So this is a random number generator. Whatever number it picks is how many likes this video must get. So can we get 3,810 likes on this video? Let alone smash that like button. And if you're new, subscribe, it does help out a ton. As usual, there are so many new things in this update. Let's go over every single thing that was added. Starting first with four brand new maps. The first map is called Treehouse. It can only be found on squads. Back during season three, there was a Treehouse map in the game. That map had zip lines. This is kind of like a new version of the map. However, there are no zip lines. This next map is called Underworld. It can only be found on squads. This map's color scheme is pretty weird. Interesting design. This next map is called Sanctuary. It is a 30v30 map. This might be the best looking map on Bedwars. Why is the player base so small? For some reason on this map, Red Team's base does not have a forge table, but Blue does have one. And the last map is called Kingdom Gardens. Once again, another 30v30 map. What type of map design is this? I really like this player base. The devs have added a new Bed Wars game mode. This is called Block Hunt. Really similar to Hide and Seek. In this update, no game mode was removed. First of all, in this game mode, kits are turned off. In this game mode, there are two sides. There are the hiders and the hunters. Once the match starts, three random players become hunters. Here's the hiders point of view. When you spawn in, you are a random block. Whatever block I'm currently sitting on, if I press R, I turn that block. When moving around the entire map, if I stay still for one second, I will automatically align. Once this happens, I have two new abilities. The first one is play a sound, and the other one is fireworks. The one playing a sound, anyone nearby can hear it, and same for the fireworks, they can see it. However, when I do that, I receive coins. What do these coins exactly do? In the map, there is a shop, and in this shop, I can buy a few things. Keep in mind, there is a hiders and hunters shop, it's completely different. I can buy a baguette, speed potion, a bow and arrow, plus a stone sword. Instead of costing iron, it costs coins. To get coins, Coins, you have to taunt. The firework taunt gives you 10 coins, and the sound one gives you 5. Both taunts do have a cooldown, just keep that in mind. The next ability is Coin Invisible. For 10 seconds, I'm invisible. It still does show my footsteps. This is a pretty good way to escape enemies. That's a really long cooldown. In order to win this game mode, you must be alive for 8 minutes and 45 seconds. When you die as a hider, you turn into a hunter. By the way, do not chat in this game mode, it will give away your location don't forget as a hider the hiders can fight back this is hide and seek with pvp by the way don't fall in the void just be really careful on both teams there's fall damage this is the second map in the block hunt game mode let's go over the hunter team when the match starts, it picks three random hunters. As a hunter, you are not released until 40 seconds. But if you are a content creator, you can totally use free cam to see where people are. That's pretty much cheating. Since the hiders have a shop, there's the exact same for the hunters. Everything does seem normal except for two things. The block radar and the hunter's echo. These cost so many coins. When killing a player, you receive 40 coins. That is the only way to receive coins as a hunter. In the shop, everything is really expensive. How can you possibly afford this? When playing the game, any coins that are collected, when the next round starts, you keep some of those coins. Over time, save up your coins to unlock these powerful gears. They only last for one round. Let's go over the block radar. When using the block radar, it's really similar to the metal detector kit. It guides me to the player. The green arrow means it's up. The radar is kind of broken. The dev should probably fix this. The second item is the hunter's echo. When holding down with this thing, any players in range, I will see where they are. This only lasts for five seconds. Now I know where people are hiding. When winning the game mode, you do receive wins. As a hunter, it's pretty easy to win if you die as a hider then become a hunter once the hunters win you still receive the win when the devs first release the game mode queuing into the match the game would never start it would just end so that's the new game on roblox bed wars comment down below what do you think i give it an 8 out of 10 
this right here is the headless horseman it costs 31,000 robux only on sale for one month of the year a lot of players really want this item only for the headless head for the first time in history i am doing a headless horseman giveaway this is my biggest giveaway yet to enter you must like this video you have to subscribe turn on that bell and set it to all subscribe to my friend destroyer link in description if he gets 10k subs we are doing a second headless horseman giveaway next join my discord server and the giveaway is in the top channel click the enter button and you're all set to go the giveaway ends in two weeks headless head is super cool these are the free kits of the week archer ember miner and for player level 20 it's flora flora and miner are the best kits of the week here are a few secret changes in the update creating a custom match is now 10 times faster it loads instantly in custom matches there is now a separate ui for scripting with the forge table the devs have made all the forge icons a lot smaller there is a new bed war scripting update one of the features is really crazy i will show later in the video the devs have buffed the Grim Reaper kit. Grim's ability always healed you by 20 HP. The devs have made it 22 HP. After killing a player, Grim does have a speed boost. The devs have increased the speed boost speed. When playing as the Whisper kit, the devs have increased the healed ability. I now heal by 15 HP instead of 10. The devs have buffed the Crypt kit. When killing a player, you can claim their skeleton. These skeletons will fight players. When you die as the Crypt kit, there's a 50% chance that your skeleton will still stay alive. By far, this is the worst Farmer Cletus nerf. Emerald seeds always costed two emeralds. They are now three. The pumpkin seeds always costed one emerald. The devs have switched it to 300 iron. Barely make profit as Farmer Cletus. With the golems in the game, the devs have increased the base damage at all stages. This is the new best forge melee in the entire game. With the Titan Armor Forge, it always gave players 50 plus HP. The devs have increased it to 75. The max total is now 275 HP. The devs have nerfed the best enchantment once again. For all the life steal stages, the healing has been reduced. Now time for the other changes. When playing the win streak 1v1 game mode, with a win streak from 1 to 5, you can queue with those players. Win streaks from 5 to 10, you queue with those players. Anyone with a 10 plus win streak, you queue with them. They fixed the Trinity UI transform bug. It does say she in the patch notes. Is Trinity a female kit? They fixed the Nightmare Evelyn and Gollins bug. They fixed the Fisherman swapping item bug. When using a lobby gadget mount, pressing the dismount button, it never worked. The devs have fixed that. So that's the new update on Roblox Bed Wars. I still have some more news today. Two Bed Wars AC mods did quit. Their names are Alina and Bored. I wish them the best of luck in life. I do a ton of Bed Wars giveaways. It does get really expensive. If you guys want to help out, go to Roblox, please donate. Go to the gifts tab type my username and send a donation of any choice those that do donate receive a shout out on my next video shout out to these people on screen California goes with 1k Robux. Thank you so much. One Sloth, 2k Robux. Yo, Headless Star with 1k Robux. Yes, I do remember you. Pierce with 2,000 Robux. Thank you so much. Cheese Team with 1k Robux. Oh my gosh, Clint Game with 10,000 Robux. Huge shout out to you. Everyone, comment down below W Grim. Lastly, Thing Forth 1000 Robux. Thank you so much. On the Bed Wars Discord server, quick disclaimer this is not for anti cheat moderator, it is for Discord moderator. Also, on the Bed Wars Discord server, the translator role will now display. Here are some season 9 leaks, these are insane. Credits to RGL. First, we have this barbarian something here. Probably a kid skin. Last year, Bed Wars had a Halloween kid skin contest. There were three winners. However, there's actually a fourth one. After one year, the devs did forget. They said it would come out sometime during season eight. Since Halloween is soon, this could possibly be the corrupted barbarian kid skin. The next leak is the Halloween Lobby 2023. You may wonder, is Bed Wars having a season nine lobby? Why is there a Halloween Lobby leaked? Season eight ends in three weeks. Five days after season 9 is Halloween. It seems that this year the devs are combining the two updates into one. 
probably for the first time the devs are not delaying the battle pass. Speaking of that leak, there's a leak for a coffin and a cape. This right here is a vampire cape. Maybe in the next season the devs are adding a vampire kit. We can assume that the season 9 battle pass is Halloween themed. So far that's all of the new leaks. Season 9 is going to be insane. Anyways guys, that is today's video. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button. If you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Use star code MUD when buying Robux. When using my star code, Roblox does pay me. Make sure to check out my other videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.